Yo, what is going on guys? Uh, I'm back with the video. Gonna be showing you how to install Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks Remastered. Uh, before I get into anything, I just want to let you know that the old patch that you can find on the server is related to Zmods, which I no longer have any affiliation with him uh, at all moving forward. And yeah, that's pretty much the end deal at that. I don't want anybody to cause him uh, any problems over on his server don't be causing any problems on my server we're just all going to move forward and that's that uh, basically though the patch that he made was part of the first remaster and you can use that and i mean if he released it back then and it was safe enough to release and use then it should still be just as uh, viable today with no problems i think there's some added codes that i added uh, from Dirk that he gave me a while back and I don't know if I took those out because I don't remember which ones those are so um, Those are probably in there if they are they are if they're not they're not I think it was only like a, a reptile Mortality or something like that. But I could be wrong. Uh, I would have to Double check that when I get some spare time, but at the moment in my spare time I'm trying to make this video so it's easier for all of you. So anyway This is you're gonna open up your folder, right? and you're gonna have the pcsx2 it's gonna be in here it's not gonna have so much stuff as me because i have a bunch of ionized for reshade which i will be releasing for you guys the reshade preset so uh yeah so you have the nightly build you need the pcsx2 the nightly build okay and then once you go there you'll open it and then from here uh you'll select your shallon monks game and make sure that it's in here I'm not going to show you how to get that registered in here, but for graphic settings, you're going to want to make sure you put on anti-blur. Uh, you can apply the widescreen patches if you want to. If you don't like that, then turn it off. Uh, texture replacements. You need to make sure that PCSX2 will load the textures wherever you put them. Even if they're not in the PCSX2 folder, you just need to make sure that you click on this and select whatever folder replacements that is, preferably uh in here where pcsx2 is textures it'll be slus 2107 that is shallon monks 2107 and then uh i have a bunch of other textures in here that are uh some of them are not released to you guys and that's just because i'm not releasing them yet and uh some because some of them are done some of them are not done and replacements this is where it'll be it'll all be in here so you would just select that folder but you would select textures because it's going to register if you select textures it'll register the slus of that game whenever you boot it up you'll click load textures rendering this is all preferable but kind of match these settings basically except for the resolution <clears throat> the resolution you want to put whatever your pc can handle uh, some textures are going to look a little um jittery depending on what resolution you play at so if you're playing at 720p you're going to notice those high res textures are going to look a lot worse um in a lot of cases so you know just be you know just be looking out for that because you'll notice it very quickly um you can use um an app by the way called uh lossless scaling if you would like to increase your performance basically i'm going to show you so whenever you're playing uh you know games you can go to you find it so lossless scaling you can open this up and it's really good on steam it's like five bucks but you can use that to uh, give you more performance if you're playing on a higher resolution so you know just be remembering that make sure you choose DirectX 11 don't play on DirectX 12 and if you absolutely need to you can choose the other ones but I personally recommend DirectX 11 because that's also the one that the reshade works with that I will be releasing so uh yeah it's pretty much as easy as that and then you would boot up the game and if you don't have a slus file right so if you don't have this slus file uh what you're going to need to do is make sure that you go in game even if it's right here right so go here go to the uh right here go to textures i'll unload but when whenever you click on dump it's going to dump those textures into a folder called slus 2107 and that'll be in here 
and it'll say dump and replacements and then you would just go to the replacements area and then drag and drop all my textures uh including a couple of uh, uh fan created textures from there's a guy out there i don't know his name he did the loading some of the loading screens and i thought he did a great job so i asked him if we could use it but anyway uh yeah and you would just place all of those folders or sorry files in here and to do that easily you would just click Control a and then you would drag and drop all of those into well the replacements folder so it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward it's not anything that you can't do and then uh for the reshade like i said i'll set that up for you guys because you can notice uh, i'm turning it on and off right here yeah it is a big thing so it's pretty simple it's straightforward and then once you load the uh once you load the textures it'll look like this i'm gonna fast forward the game just a little bit okay so here we are we're at the main menu this is what it looks like with the full reshade and everything this is without the reshade so there is a massive difference in uh visual fidelity when it comes to using reshade and not reshade so yeah that's it, it looks great uh, um for what it is and then if you're trying to set up reshade i'm going to open this we're going to go to reshade.com right and it doesn't matter what reshade you use so you would just click download and then you would download reshade um i'm pretty sure i already have it yep okay you would go to file explorer go to downloads click on reshade so you'll double click reshade you'll go to browse you'll go to your pcsx2 directory look for pcsx2 qtexe click on that click open click on next click on 10 11 12 which is the DirectX 11 that we're going to be using as a rendering api for pcsx2 you'll click next it's going to ask you some different stuff um based off of this but uh, you don't really need all of that because you'll be using my files that i will be providing you that you'll have to drag and drop so um basically you'll just click continue next 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 until it's done and then you'll have a file called reshade shaders you'll double click that and the file that i provide you here you will need to basically do this right i'm gonna show you just because it's pretty simple so you'll see these right here and you'll just literally drag and drop these into this location and then the preset that you will be using is mksm release preset 2 and so that will give you the ability uh to or it, it's one of these i'll figure out which one it is um i can actually do that really fast just because uh, i can boot up i can boot up the game so yeah all right let's see which one it is so it'll be test new it'll be test new mksmr okay so yeah and maybe i'll rename it but yeah it's pretty straightforward pretty simple that's all you have to do um, I'm not on a specific version and I guess one more thing to note make sure uh, I don't update by the way just because a lot of things kind of crash um, but I use the nightly build because of all of its different things please when you are in rendering this is the most important thing if you haven't watched the full video so far to this point please do that it is very important you need to make sure that MIP mapping is turned off this box needs to be turned off and i'm going to show you exactly why it is a headache because people uh will see that the textures are not working properly we're just going to go in here and uh for some reason it's not letting me it's not letting me choose my player give me one second i'm going to put this to keyboard okay so i'm going to choose lucane go into the game everything's going to be like normal that is different it's just because i'm rendering the game so fast at high speed okay so as you can see i'm moving around but it works fine right but if you turn mip mapping on it completely degrades all of the textures reverting a bunch of them back to the original so please make sure you turn that off it is a big deal because if you don't turn it off the game will not look as i described it to be and how it should be so please uh do that um, of course for like the skins that I was going to tell you guys about for 
uh, the rendering skin, the rendered skins that I do have, like I have a bunch of rendered skins. I'm sorry that uh, you won't be able to use those uh, at the moment. I'm kind of just going to give you guys the base game uh, right now. And then I, I want to make sure those are, you know, completely 100% done before I ever release those to you guys, which, you know, I have no idea when that'll be. But at the moment, everything for base game is pretty much done. And I think I covered that quite a bit in the Discord. So if you're trying to download this and you're seeing this on YouTube, please join the Discord. Uh, stick around, talk, help people out. You know, it's uh, you know it's a big day for Mortal Kombat to be able to play the you know the game with a uh, higher fidelity. So uh, right now, that should cover everything. If you have any questions, go to the Discord. Please go to the Discord and uh, comment in the comment section. And if if you know you need help getting a discord link or whatever even though the link should be in the description as well so like i said you know please try to uh help one another out and uh yeah so thank you and like i said go to that discord